What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now if you can't tell, I'm wearing the new Mares XR Rec Trim System. And I'm going to take it off here briefly and I'm going to show you all the components that come with it. And then I'll talk about who this is actually designed for. Is it going to be for recreational divers? Is it going to be for tech divers? Or is it going to be for somebody who is transitioning in between? With that being said, let's take it off and let's see what all comes with the Mares XR Rec Trim System. All right, guys, so let's take a closer look at the XR Trim System and look at each individual component, and we'll kind of explain why they call it the Trim System. First of all, you'll notice it's just standard back plate and wing. You're going to have the uh, bladder system, you're going to have the plate, and you are going to have the harness system. We're going to start with the plate itself. Now, the plate that comes with it is an aluminum plate, so it's very lightweight. It's going to be great for travel. But the reason they call it a trim, and if you kind of look here on the paper here, it shows you can adjust your waist strap up or down. So if you want to run your waist strap on the bottom of the plate, you can. If you want to run it up on the next middle area, you can do that as well. It's going to help with trim. It's also going to help if you are a little bit smaller stature, um, you can wear a back plate and wing as well. Now moving on there, from there, we're going to look at the harness. Now the harness is a little bit different than what you're probably used to with a single piece webbing. This is a dual piece harness. It's also going to be an adjustable harness. You're going to have the, your cinch straps here where you can loosen and tighten them at will. Maybe you're going, say, from a wetsuit to a dry suit. You're also going to have these cinch clips. This makes it very easy to get out of if you have some type of physical handicap or maybe you're trying to get your buddy out of it in a rescue scenario. It makes it a lot easier just to unsnap, walk out of the system, then try to use that single piece webbing harness. It does come with the comfort strap systems here and on the back plate as well. So you're going to have an upper and a lumbar section here of padding. You're also going to have padding here on your shoulder straps. Each shoulder straps is going to have a multiple piece uh, bungee system or elastic piece so you can mount accessories and things like that and that way you're not having any danglies. Over on the left shoulder you're going to have the standard K inflator from Mares. It's just from their XR line as well. Moving on down to the waist strap and crotch strap, just a standard waist strap. You're going to have aluminum D-rings both on the shoulder and the waist. You are going to get a steel buckle here in the front. It does have the Mares XR branding on it. Now, one thing that sets this guy apart, of course, is the crotch strap. It's not a single piece uh, webbing crotch strap that you're used to. This is a dual crotch strap that kind of comes down into a Y. That's going to do a couple things. One, it's going to be a little bit more comfortable. You're not going to have that chafing on your suit just from that single piece there. And it's going to make it a little bit easier for adjustments. You can really dial it in where you need it. Now, looking at the bladder itself, this is a 17 liter bladder or a 37 pound lift bladder, but it is going to be different than what a typical backplate and wing bladder system is because it's one system. A lot of times on backplate and wings, you can unzip the outer carrier and pull the bladder out if you need to replace it. This one has a fusion bladder, very similar to the um, standard recreational BCs from Mares. Basically, it's just two pieces of Cordoa that has been waterproof. They sew them together, and then they heat fuse, or they create a fusion here on the edge. So the downside to this is, is if you tear up this bladder, you're going to have to get a completely new bladder system. You're not just going to be able to pull out the internal part and replace it. But it is going to give you plenty of lift, whether you're diving a single 80 or a steel 100 or even a steel 120, this bladder is going to be plenty of lift for you. Flipping it over on the back, you'll notice another difference between the standard XR system and the XR trim is the single tank adapter. Now, because we're using this bladder over the standard XR bladder, you're not going to have those little tank stabilizers that come on the XR system. 
So you're gonna need a single tank adapter. Depending on what size cylinder you use, you can also adjust these straps up or down. There's a couple extra slots here that you can use as well. Or if you're using this uh, on a different manufactured system as well, it'll simply snap right on there as well. You can bolt it. Standard cam straps here, just like on any standard VC as well, you can change them out if you need to for metal cams and all that. But yeah, that's the front and back and all the features of the Marez XR trim system. Now, one thing that we didn't talk about, you can get this in four different colors. You can get it in black, white, blue, or that cobalt color, or you can also get it in that new aqua teal color as well. So it's very customizable for you if you're trying to match colors with your equipment. So there you go guys, that's the Marez Rec trim system. Comes in several different colors and it's a great transition piece whether you're going say from a jacket straight into a backplate and wing but you still want the added features of the adjustable straps. This is gonna be a great choice for you. You can also change out any of the components at any given time. Say if you don't like this particular bladder system, you can put a more robust bladder system on it as well. But it's gonna be a great transitional piece or a great starter piece for you if you're just getting into diving and you wanna go straight to a backplate and wing system. But guys, I really hope you liked this review. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you got any questions, drop me a comment down below and I'll try to answer it the best I can. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, Pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business.